Hey everybody, it's Ben working on my super truck hybrid diesel electric project and of course part of this is the diesel engine which has been sitting in my garage and over at a friend's house and all sorts of different things and uh, today my buddy Steve stopped over to give me a hand with it because I know nothing about diesels and he does know. Okay, here we go. We have a diesel fuel tank with a little 12 volt pump. 12 volt pumps go into a battery and then uh, through this clear tube we're pumping diesel fuel up into... The priming pump and then back up to what's this fuel filter and then to to the pump the injection pump. to the injection pump and then uh to the engine so now we're gonna bleed the uh what do you call it? bleed the injectors so that the fuel gets all the way up and through this and after that in theory we can start it Okay, how? Push, push, see what happens. There you go. Okay, so we pushing that does shut yeah, that so off. And we got so a we'll, 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 leak on a hot engine and glow plugs and things. Well, like, no, Is it the just, primer pump? Yeah, there's a leak in the primer pump. Okay. Um, to start with, what we did was we hooked up the uh, original starter back up, back up to it. But uh, the length of the bolts and everything, it actually needs the original bell housing on there just to make that all work out so fine the bell housing was also kind of just a cover for the flywheel so we had the flywheel on there had the starter and then um let's see what else did we do before we got started on all this the water pump the water pump on this thing was seized up so we took the entire water pump off i um, gonna have to buy a rebuilt one for that oh and i did find out that that hole and that hole go all the way through into the engine so when you run the engine oil leaks out so uh, good to know have to put some uh, sealant on those bolts when the uh, water pump goes back on and then we also had to put on the oil cooler um, because the oil pump well we get the the oil filter oil pump over here that connects to that and without that this would have been squirting oil all over the place including a little oil pressure gauge that goes to the original dash which I kept out of that vehicle which I guess just goes to a oil pressure light on there um, and then we also had to over here this is the cable that controls the run and kill position and I kept the uh, original handle control doohickey where uh, right on here uh, you know you you pull it to start, you push it to stop, um, you pull it all the way out for the starter. Of course, on the truck, I'll convert the starter. That'll just keep with the key instead of this thing. Uh, but the rubber here was shot, so I put drilled holes, put three little bolts, bolt that together to make that go on with a new little washer and cotter pin. And then uh, we got some diesel fuel. You can see very official diesel tank right here. Um, hooked it up with a little 12 volt pump through this clear hose um, and then bled the system, you know, got all the air out of it basically, pumped the fuel up through there, and then had to, on each of these injectors, loosen that up and basically bleed them, kind of like uh, bleeding brakes. That's something I, I didn't know, but uh, diesel fuel is kind of like brake fluid, you know, it's oil. You have to bleed it to get the air out of the system. And then once that was done, that was about it, right, Steve, before right, right, cranking right. it? So, uh, we had the one, uh, where'd our purple wire go? This wire goes to the uh, glow plugs, so we just uh, touch that down on the battery, give some glow plug power, and then uh, had a remote switch set up for the starter, and uh, really it fired fired right up. No air filter, no, uh, no muffler, so a little loud, a little smoky, but other than that, it seemed to work just fine. So uh, cool, it's working. Got to gotta replace that uh, water pump and give it a new fuel filter and should be ready to run.